Alrighty guys, what is going up? Welcome back to the best day trading investing money management channel on YouTube. Give yourselves a round of applause for finding the best channel. Alrighty guys, in today's episode, we're going to be doing a think or swim tutorial. We're going to be talking about everything on this platform, why I use it, how to get a cheaper commission, um, how to get free education out of it, and how to find stocks. Alright, so let's just jump right into it. So pretty much as you pull up Thinkorswim, you're gonna notice these little menu tabs. Now these menu tabs is pretty much how you navigate the Thinkorswim platform. Now, normally a lot of traders don't really use the monitor, trade, analyze uh, tabs just because you don't need them. You don't need the trade tab to execute your trades because you wanna be able to look at the charts. Uh, the analyze tab, you can look at these, but this is giving you more in-depth data like earnings reports and everything like that. And as a uh, trader, I don't really care about that. As a day trader, I don't I don't care. So we're gonna go and we're gonna click the scan tab. Now this scan tab is gonna be how you find stocks to trade. Now a lot of people think that, you know, it's too expensive to find stocks. You know, if you look at a lot of the uh, scanning platforms like Thinkorswim and a variety of others, uh, Thinkorswim starts out at 120 bucks a month. Link will be down below on how to get 15% off, but that's expensive. That's very expensive. So Thinkorswim has a free, um, a free scanning software that you can use and incorporate it in your charts as well. So pretty much how you do it, if you want to add a filter to your stock here, that's that's exit out all of these. All right, so let's just click scan. So if you just click scan with nothing, you're gonna get every stock available. So that's like 22,000 stocks here. So if you want it, we need to filter this down. We got to find stocks that are moving, stocks with volume and everything like that. So we're going to click this add filter for a stock. Now, as you click that, you'll see this little box pop up. Now we're going to change the price here or the volume, whatever one we kind of want, whatever kind of strategy you guys use will depend on your, uh, on your filters. So, we're gonna we're gonna whoa we're gonna add a let's just do let's just do that ten thousand ten thousand no let's do a hundred thousand do a hundred thousand hundred thousand now max no max we don't need one we just want a minimum of a hundred thousand for the volume we want stocks that are moving because as traders it is what what do we search for we search for volume in the market. We search for stocks that are moving and stocks that other people are watching. Now, there's probably a ton of stocks like this, guys. That's probably why it's not pulling up. But all right, so now the next thing here, I wish this would pop up. But anyways, no big deal. So the next thing here is we're going we're gonna to click Add Filter again. Now we're going to go to the closing price. Now this is going to be the last time it closed. Uh, what it closed at. So we're just going to click $3. Click scan. What is going on with this, guys? But pretty much, guys, the scanning uh, capability is pretty decent. Um, one thing that I wish it had, I wish it always kept scanning. I wish it kept scanning. But what tends to happen, you click the scan tab once, it scans it that one time, and that's it. You got to come back and scan it again, scan it again, scan it again. All right, so we just got all these up. There's still a ton. That's why it took forever to load. Uh, still 2,622 um, for this. All right, so the next thing here, we're going to just click, keep changing it up. Now we're going to want a, uh, where is it? Percent change right here. Minimum of, let's just do 3%. Scan that. That will definitely, I can guarantee you, that will filter out a lot more. So now we're limited to a hundred and uh, hundred and thirty-seven. So now the next thing here is you guys can just filter the change. Boom. C R C, A K R K. So these are stocks that are moving here up sixteen percent. Fourteen, eleven, ten, nine, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So now we got a good idea of how to find a stock. So the next thing here is. All right, well, Carter, I want to save this. So it's super simple. You just got to click these three uh, lines up in the top right. Click scan or click save scan. Uh, and if that's say you're like, Carter, I don't know. I don't want to learn how to do all this. No big deal. No big deal, guys. So they have a ton of other scan options that they already have. So if that's say you want the largest gainers for the day, 
gapping up or down. Let's just let's just click one of them just so you guys can see. Percent change gainers automatically uh, throws in the all the information you need. You click scan and then you are good to go. So I wish this. I don't know why it's taking so long. I have full Wi-Fi, huh? So oh, because there's like a couple thousand. All right, so MDR. This was a stock that was we traded today. Uh, we had CRC, we had AKRX. So we had a variety of other stocks. Look at the volume on this, guys. That's why we search for stocks that have volume right there. All right, so the now the next thing here is Market Watch. You guys can incorporate all of your Market Watch data into this. So any stock that you're looking at on Market Watch. You can uh, analyze it here. You can pull it up here. It's very cool and it's a very useful feature. Now, how to do that? You just kind of connect them um, together. I believe I already did it, but there should be a little login page once you pull it up for your first time. So now we're going to click charts. Charts are by far the most popular um, reason why a lot of traders are drawn to this. So we're going to we're going to uh, we're gonna what you call it? Whoops, we we're gonna get rid of everything. All right, so all right, so guys, now if that's say you're new and this is the first, um, this is the first. What the heck? I, where is it? Is it here? Can you, oh, I think it's in setup. Okay. Hold on. All right. So as you guys pull up your your charting stuff, it's going to look a lot different, guys. It's going to look very. Um, all right. We're going to we're going to reset the we're going to reset it to the default. So, guys, this is going to be how it looks. You'll see it's going to it takes a minute to load because I have so much stuff on this on this one already that it's going to take a little bit. I can already guarantee it. All right, so as you guys load in, this is going to be pretty much everything that you get. This is going to be everything coming in to it. Um, so now you're gonna you're gonna want to click the charts here. Now, as you click charts, you're gonna see. Okay, wow, look at all of this. Now, how can you add more and delete some? So you you see these boxes in all of these. If you click this add arrow, it's gonna add one to the right. Boom, if you click uh, this little X across it, it's gonna delete them. So we're gonna just do two and two, okay? So now we're gonna make these two together and then these two together, all right, guys? So now the next thing, okay, we got it, all the information we want and we got all the boxes up we need. So we're gonna click back to uh, these little multiple boxes screen and then we're gonna click this little customized grid. So that gets rid of all the boxes here. All right, so now the next thing you want to do is kind of just start do, working on this side here. So leave up the live news, trade your TV. Some people like it. I'm just going to get rid of it here. All right, so going back to that scanning software that we did up here. Now, when you guys save it, it's going to come into the personal uh, personal uh, watch list. So you're going to want to come in and just click whatever scan you want. The scan has the little purple icon on it. So pre-market scanner. Click that. Now all the stocks that are looking interesting that you found on your scan will come up there. So now we're going to delete this. Boom. And now we're going to click and we're going to add another watch list. So now here we got two watch lists up and going. So now we're going to make this one. This one's going to be, we're going to change this to red. And then this one's going to go to yellow. Now this is going to be how you connect all of your charts. So make sure that this is red right here. Red and then red. So B, C, D, A, B, C, D, A. Perfect. Now we're going to click this. We're going to click yellow. <clears throat> okay, so B, C, D, A. All right, for some reason, these, these are the same stock, but I'm telling you it's, it's going to change. All right, so now the next thing here is we're going to just make sure it works. So we're going to click the yellow. Make sure it works down here. <clears throat> So cool, K-O-O-L, K-O-O-L, perfect. So now we're gonna click one of these. Um, let's just find something that looks somewhat decent. Uh, I'm just trying to find something. All right, so now C-O-C-P. All right, perfect, C-O-C-P, perfect, guys. All right, so now the next thing here is now as we start getting more uh, charts up, we got all the charts up. Now, how can you buy and sell? 
Now you see these little, little icons here off to the side. Now this is going to be how you actually buy and sell. So we're going to want to click this right here, this AT. This is this means active trader. So now this is going to be how you can buy and how you can sell. And you can see your positions, your how much you're up, your average price open, um, that's out, and then your PL on the day. So now we're going to click this down here as well. Take this and slide it. Whoops. Take this, slide it back to kind of line it up. All right, so now we're slowly starting to get everything looking good, guys. All right, but the, now the next thing. We want studies. So very simple. How you add studies. You click studies. <laughs> you click studies. You click edit studies. Now you type in whatever one you want. So that we're going to put in a moving average line. We're going to put in a exponential. We're going to put in one, two, three, four. So now you get four. You guys can customize them like this. Click this gear icon. And then when you click that, You'll, you will get this uh, little kind of box that pops up. Now, for some reason, it's loading up. I don't know what it's loading, but all right. So now you guys can change it. You can put in, you know, whatever you want, whatever you want. No big deal. So now after you do that, click OK, then click OK. And then all these will change. Since they're all the nine, there's just going to be one line. But we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that. So if you guys put a 200 where that nine was, a 200 moving average would come in. If you put a 20, a 20 moving average line would come in. So we already have one uh, study loaded. So we got all of those four in. Now, Carter, how can you save them? Very simple. Once you find a study uh, setup you like, all you gotta click is click Save Study Set. Once you click that, you can type in whatever you want. So day trading set boom click save okay so now one thing that i like is you can literally go right across here click studies load study set day trading set studies for some reason guys it's i swear when i record it takes up a lot it takes a while for everything to load but all right so now click day trading set studies studies load study day trading set perfect so now we got everything looking good now it's starting to look like you know what you're doing I guess but all right so now the next thing here everyone so now we don't as day traders we don't care about the daily or not the daily chart we don't care about the weekly yearly chart so we got to change the uh, time frames so you see this little D right here this is the time frame setup so we're gonna click this or we're gonna click one day one minute down here, we're gonna click one day, one minute. We're gonna pull up a different stock here because there's like no volume on the stock. So we're gonna just put an Apple. We're gonna just put an Apple AAPL, click enter, loads up. It always takes uh, the one minute chart a little longer to load up most of the time, everyone. So if it takes a minute, but when I record, it takes a lot of. Uh, you know a lot of power to do that so i think everything takes a little longer because it shouldn't take this long and it normally doesn't but all right so now the next thing here is we get we got to make sure this is the five minute five day chart and then we're going to expand this all the way back like that so now we know where the resistance lines are we know there's a resistance here at 220 uh 47 some resistance here, some resistance all the way up on top, some support down here. All right, so some reason this is taking such a long time, guys. Such a long time. But we're gonna just let it load and uh, make sure it's, everything's good. So five day, five minute, expand it all back. All right, so now we're really looking good. What is, why is this taking so long? But, all right, so now the next thing here is we're going to click this chart setting here. Um, I don't know if we should probably do it on this one because it's still loading, and I think I just froze it. But or did I just make it go quicker? All right, so now the next thing here is we're going to click. Um, pretty much this is how you customize everything. You guys can overlap the volume. You guys can do anything you want. So we're going to go to the appearance, and we're going to click 
uh, fill up the uh, green because I like it like that. And then we're going to change the background color um, from a dark gray to a black. So it's like that. Click OK. Maybe if we pull up a different stock here, I swear. Oh, brother. Now we just got two. Now we just got two that's taken forever. Oh, my gosh. We might have to log out and log back in. I swear it's only when I come on here and record for you guys. But so now we're going to click uh, down here. We're going to do it down here as well. Oh, everything is taking so slow. I don't like it. Fill it up. Do the background. So now you guys can go through and do this. Um, do all the ones you guys like and do any custom features that you want. All right. So now let's say you figured out. Yay. It finally loaded. Okay. Jeez. That took so long. I don't know why. But um, so let's just do it real quick here just to, to make it look good. Boom. Background. Black. Good. Boom. Boom. Appearance. Background. Boom. Fill up. Boom. Okay, so now everything everything looks good. And if that's say you did a uh, different setup, that's completely fine. This is just my personal thing that I use, and sometimes I only use one chart. You know, depending on uh, how how well the stocks are moving that day. So now the next thing here is once you figure out a setup that you like, you can just click the setup icon up on the top, right? Click save workplace as once you click that, you can just do a uh, day trader one, one or two, 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 whatever you want. And so now the next time you guys want load it up, if that's say it's not what you want, you guys can just go back and uh, pull it up again. Right here day trader two 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 perfect so now okay you got the charts all good you got everything all good now one thing that thinkorswim has and it's pretty cool is the on-demand platform this is just being able to go back in time and looking at charts uh as they happen so that's a pretty cool feature that they have and you guys can go back and check that out also they do have a cool tools tab we can click that um and you guys can pretty much see videos and trade fees, feeds and think logs. And there's a variety of cool things on here, though. But all right. So that's just that's not really that important here, to be honest. Uh, one of the cool things that I like about the Thinkorswim platform is they have the free education. Um, if you're a very beginner trader and you don't want to spend money or anything like that, they have a decent uh learning platform here um and they have everything to learn about forex to learn about etfs bonds stocks um pretty much everything and it's a very cool thing also you can uh pretty much move it and study at your own time there's no there's no teacher but it's free so you guys can work on anything you want all right so we got it we got it loaded up here um, so as you guys can see, they have classes on stocks, options, bonds, mutual funds, ETFs, futures, Forex, personal finance, portfolio management, and retirement strategies and ideas and uh, tool demos. So they have everything. You just click on one and watch these videos. They're like five, 10 minutes long and you can learn free information from it. But, you know, uh, that is it though on pretty much a quick tutorial on how to use it. If you guys have any questions, please sure to leave it in the comments below. Um, this episode is sponsored by MVP Trading Academy and you guys can get a free book by signing up with them. Link will be down below. But that is it though. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did, drop a huge subscribe on the channel. All of the subscribes are greatly appreciated, guys. Uh, that is it though. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember to always stay happy, stay positive and I hope you guys have a really great day today and have a good one, guys. Take care.